Hey guys, what's up? My name's Goldblade, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to install add-ons onto Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows 10. So, if you have Windows 10 and you want to get, like, mods, the closest thing you can get to is add-ons, which are the packs that um, Minecraft enables you to make. So, if you go to the Minecraft page, you can see it talks about custom add-ons that they have started to make. So pretty much add-ons are resource packs and behavior packs that change the game. So resource packs change the way the game looks and the uh, way the items look. So you know how the zombie looks right here with the different skin or the way um, features act. So how things act or like how, how they interact. So with you know resource packs you can change a uh, zombie into this guy or you can like change how they they run their speeds stuff like that. Um, you won't really need to know that if you're not creating one yourself. It's really simple to get started and actually get um, use some of these. Minecraft has some of them um, on their page. As you can see, I'm on their Minecraft um, page right now. And there's a few here that you can try out. And then there's some more uh, stuff down here to look at if you want to. But what I'm going to be um, going to is, since Minecraft doesn't have a lot on their page, I like to go to this site called MCPEDL, which it has a bunch of mo um, it has a bunch of these packs. Um, some most of them are for Minecraft PE. So if you, you know, you, you're gonna want to test out some stuff to see if it works correctly on your version. If it does not work, then yeah. So if you go up here to mods and then click add-ons, you can click right there and it will bring you to the add-ons page. And then from these, you can look through and find um, ones that you want. So there are some that say, um, like, Minecraft PE Mods or something like that. So the PE is Minecraft Pocket Edition for the phone and or Android. So some of these might not work correctly um, all the way. So you some of them you want to check if they work with um, your Windows 10 Edition. So if you click into one, I'm just going to use the Decor one right here as an example. So this one's for the 1.12.0 beta. So if you don't have the beta, it w this one won't work because it doesn't have stuff from the other thing. And I'll make another video on how to get the beta if you guys are interested in that. And that will be up um, probably around the same time that this video is up. Um, but for this, if you scroll through, it tells you the additions they have and just it shows you, you know, cool blocks that you can add to the game. So these are like retextured blocks and sometimes they have cool stuff to do with it. And right here, it says supported Minecraft versions. It tells you the version, and then it tells you the installation guides on Android, iOS, and Windows. So right here, it should work on Windows 10. Um, sometimes I have it in their uh, actual thing if it works on Windows 10. This one, I'm pretty sure, works on Windows 10 because they're using Windows 10 for the beta and everything it looks like right here. So this one should work if I was to download it, but I already have one downloaded. And... I, I know this, um, I actually know that this guy um, makes a lot of other packs. The pack that I'm going to show you an example of is one of these, uh, his packs, because he uses the same name to make his packs. So, yeah, so pretty much go onto the site and see if you can find anything that you find interesting. You can find um, texture packs, you can find um, any add on packs, like mod, mod packs, kind of, and see if it works. Um, just try out, you know, install it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then you, it just won't work. You can delete it or you can do whatever with it. And you can do that easily from the Minecraft launcher. You don't have to go back into the files and delete everything. But, so yeah, that's how you get, get that stuff. So, as you can see, there's, there's a lot on here and there's a lot of pages. So, you can also sort by most popular and you can look for other things. So, the mod PE and stuff like that, um, and the block launcher stuff, uh, that won't work. Scripts will work, um, but they won't they won't work cross platform. So one cool thing about this is you can actually play with other people on Xbox as long as it's compatible. So you can mod a world and have your Xbox friends join and they can uh, experience those with you. So you're not just playing on the computer by yourself, which is kind of cool. And you can also have other computer friends join as well. So let's go um, and get right into this. So right here I have the Carnage Minecraft add-on. And this is by the same guy that had the other pack. So right here it says Minecraft MC add-on. So sometimes it says MC.MC .MC pack. Sometimes it says MC add-on. Um, sometimes it's a zip folder. 
if this isn't a zip folder, you can just, if this is on Minecraft uh, MC add-on or NC pack, you can click it and it should just automatically launch Minecraft and import for you. Um, that, that That's one of the really simple ways you can do this. Um, but I'm going to show you, so I'm going to show you the, uh, the more complicated way just so that um, you know how to do it if you have a zip file. But if you just double click this, as you can see, it just loads up Minecraft and it starts to auto import. I'm going to close that real quick. Um, so pretty much what you want to do is this should already be a zip file. So I'm just going to make mine into a zip file. So as you can see, I have the, the zip and I'm going to export it. So I double click on that and open that up. And as you can see, the there's the RES and the DAP folder. So the RES is the resource pack and the DAP folder is the behavior pack. So if you download a um, resource pack, it's just going to be the top one. So if you download any uh, texture packs that change the textures and only the texture pack, then you'll only have one file. If you have the other one, it might be two. Sometimes you'll get them to look like this, where it would just be a bunch of files. If you find if you open it and it looks like this, just export it into a new folder and name it something. Um, typically, it will just be like a Minecraft texture pack, um, and it will have all these files. And you'll put you want to make sure they're all packaged together. So I'm going to really quick extract this to my desktop and wait for that. As you can see, it's popping up over there. I think it's done. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to click on the Carnage pack right here. Yep. As you can see, they're both downloaded. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open a new window and I'm going to show you how to get to the Minecraft uh, file folder for you to put these in and uh, load them onto your game if you don't have the other pack. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Control R and you're going to want to type in this down here, the percent app data percent. And then once you have that, you're going to click OK. It's going to open this folder. You can see the Minecraft folder here, but this is for the Java edition. You're actually going to want to go back one directory, go to local. Once you're in local, you want to go down and find the packages folder. I just saw it right there. There we go. Packages. And then in packages, there's going to be all these weird typed folders. Look for the Minecraft folder which is microsoft.minecraft um, I'll find it real quick okay I found the folder it's right here so it, it should be this the same for you it should be the same name so just look for microsoft.minecraft uh, uwp and once you see that right there you're gonna want to open that and then you're gonna be in your minecraft uh, bedrock folder so from here, you're going to want to go down and you're wanna, going to want to click local state. You want to click games, con.mojang, and then now you're in the, the folders. So what you're going to want to do is if you don't have it already, um, you're going to want to make these two files right here. You're, you're going to want to make a behavior underscore packs and a resource underscore packs. Both of them shouldn't have any, they have to be spelled the exact same way. They shouldn't have any capitals and the, the little underscores there should be the only thing um, the, for the space. So that should be the only two things. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just drag. So for this, you're going to want to drag the data pack into behavior packs. And I'm going to do that move. Then you're going to see that pop up. Then I'm going to draw drag the carnage pack into the um, resource packs and you're going to see that drop in there and okay so now that we drop those in there it should be in our minecraft game so we're going to open minecraft hey guys so i didn't tell you earlier but um this is actually the guy that made the pack that i'm going to be using so this is the pack is um by Kodan Reagan XXI, which is actually this guy right here. So he makes a lot of really cool packs, and um, he's actually one of the main people I go to for my packs because I use um, I've tried his Bedrock pack out, and then I've also tried his um, his Carnage pack out, which is the one I'm going to be using. But he has a lot of really cool packs. I check him out. Um, I'm going to leave his thing down in the description as well as a download for the actual Carnage pack, and I don't want that there. But yeah, so I want. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that if you want to download any of his packs or if you want to go to his page and check him out. Okay, so Minecraft is loading up. And as you can see, it's it's almost there. So I have the beta version, so it might look a little bit different, but everything should work completely fine for you. Um, so what we're going to do is once we load into this, I'm going to show you how to get all everything set up. So as you see, I'm in Minecraft right now. If you click on settings, 
and then go over to global resources and you can just see that it's at the top and it shows that it's all in and correct if you click down here um, sometimes it will have like a little um, exclamation point saying something's wrong um, that typically means there's like a dependency missing or something um, just make sure that you know there's nothing there and if everything looks correct and fine then you can back out of this page that's just showing you that everything's in there correctly um, sometimes it m might, might not show up there so you actually do want to you know go in here and do that and to actually use those packs in the world what you're going to want to do is once you get here and you're going to want to create create new and click create new world so th this is how you actually get the packs into your world you don't have to name it anything special um, one thing you do have to do though is some mod packs actually require you to enable experimental gameplay so i would check with the mod pack um, it's typically in the description of the page wherever you find it it will say needs experimental game gameplay uh, just just make sure to uh, check this box if that's necessary for this i know it's not so i'm, I'm not going to check this box but if you don't know um i mean there's no real like if you, there's no real uh, downside to clicking this box sometimes it might like be a little bit buggy but it i haven't seen a major change in between that so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to resource packs and as you see right here it's carnage so you're going to want to click this and click the little add button and I'm just going to show you real quick how, how this loader works. So if I click on this resource pack, um, you can see these up and down arrows. So these up and down arrows will move it in between the loader. And this little check mark just says everything's good with it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put any resource packs on the bottom and the other packs or like the other add-ons on the top. Typically, you want it to look like this. You're going to want to have the resource packs on the bottom and then whatever um, add-ons you have at the top. So the reason you would do it do it like this, you might have to experiment and uh, see which way it works best and you know, where everything works correctly. So the, the way this works is, say you have a Minecraft diamond and these both the both of these packs texture them. Um, say this textures it to something, um, well this is just a vanilla resource pack so it's just gonna texture it like a diamond. But say it textures it to look like an, an emerald and this textures it to look like a ruby. Since this is on the top, it's going to look like a ruby because this one, it was loaded in last. So you're going to want whatever packs you want on the top. So my rule of thumb is to put resource packs, then put any add-on packs. Find the best way so that they don't like mix, with, mix up with one another. And then on the top, you can add any other um, packs. Typically, I don't put any other things over the add-ons unless it's for um unless it edits the ui and stuff which is something you actually can do with resource packs so if it if it's just ui um a ui only resource pack i'd put that at the top but um pretty much this is like the rule of thumb i would go with so i'm just just so i'm just going to take this off just because it doesn't really do anything to the game it's just a test pack but so right here as you can see it says require players to accept resource packs to join what, I'm, what I would say is just no matter what, just click this box. You don't have to, but this just means so that if people were to join your world, they would see everything that um, you see and all the textures would change for them as well. So this just makes it so they can see all the textures as well. And if you don't click this and somebody joins your world, it might look a little bit buggy and kind of weird for them. So I'd always keep this checked. Even if people aren't going to be joining the world, I'd just keep that checked just, just in case. So once you have that, in there you're going to want to go down to behavior packs right down here and then you're going to want to enable the carnage resource pack it's going to tell you it's going to turn off achievements because it needs it's kind of like cheating it's a mod pack so i'm just going to click continue and as you can see that's in right there so now that you have both of these packs in it should be fine if you have a resource pack and only a resource pack that just changes stuff and not behaviors you won't have this it will just be the resource pack so let's say like i have so this is a vanilla behavior pack, but this is just a resource pack. This is this doesn't have a behavior pack with it. This is just you know that, and this is just behaviors. But yeah, so. But yeah, so pretty much, if you were to. But yeah, so if you if it's only a resource pack, you're not gonna have this. Anyways, um, just click create. And right here, it's going to load up. 
And as you can see, since it says saving world resource packs, it shows you that the resource packs are loading into the world and everything's trying to work. And I'll be right back once this actually um, loads up for you, for me. Okay, as you can see, we're loaded in. And you can see just from that guy over there that, um, that we actually have the stuff in. So there's, um, I don't know why it sounds like a spider. I think some of the, um, the behavior facts might not be working properly. So this might be a little bit outdated, but, um, as you heard, you heard a custom sound and you see his tech, the texture is different. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's just one of the modded um, things in this uh, world that comes from the actual pack. So yeah, so that just works proper, properly. And um, yeah, sometimes there will be errors like this little cow run over here, you know, it just looks a little bit weird. But that's just because um, something went wrong with the pack loading. Um, every time I actually load this pack, this happens. So um, I actually probably have to go in and check the cow structure in the pack. But um, other than that, uh, um, whatever pack you load shouldn't really mess with um, mess up anything. If you see any errors, it's because of the packs you have loaded. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, um, feel free to ask me down in the comments. But yeah, so hopefully you guys found this easy to do. And if you need any help with anything else, uh, leave it down in the comments. Um, hope you liked the video. And I would be very happy if you uh, would follow my channel for more content like this. And yeah, so that's going to be all for today. And uh, yeah. Bye.